Over the past 30 years, the design team at Arcteryx have created a really long list of innovations that have changed the entire outdoor industry. And while their latest project aims to help more people enjoy the outdoors, I don't even have the words. Something they've been working at since day one. This product does that in a whole new way. There's no way I could do this without these. I would take one look at this and leave. Deep in the heart of the Arcteryx Design Center sits the Advanced Concepts team. They use their diverse skill set to solve problems that most people aren't even thinking about yet and find the next game-changing innovation for Arcteryx. We're not too far from startup or that kind of entrepreneurial spirit where we're really just looking to get sort of deep-rooted innovation and, and culture here. This is Cam. He's not a designer. I'm actually a biomechanical engineer. Four years ago, Cam received an email from Catherine and Anna. They were working at Google's innovation center called X on a wearable device to help with mobility in the mountains, sort of like an e-bike for hiking. Anna and Catherine's team evolved into Skip, a 12-person startup in San Francisco. We were kind of grappling with who is this thing actually going to be for? And we found time and time again that those are people who used to be incredibly active in the outdoors. And over time, for many different reasons, that sort of started to go. Movement is so core to the human experience. So we're really motivated to help keep people experiencing physical activity, and that will hopefully help keep their long-term mental and physical health really strong. The Skip team wanted to build something like an exoskeleton. Historically, those have been for enterprise or medical uses. And so they're super good at doing a very specific thing in a very specific setting. But as soon as it kind of hits the real world, it doesn't do so good. It needed to be smaller and smarter. Something that could handle variable real world terrain. But how does it actually work? Our device uses sensors and machine learning to understand how you're trying to move and predict the support that you need. Their first tests were challenging, but promising. We built some of these early prototypes that functioned really, really well. Such a difference. <laughs> but they didn't look great. We realized we needed help making it into a product that people would wear and love every day. And so we were looking for a partner who had the technical expertise to take it from concept to reality. And that's exactly the kind of problem the Arcteryx Advanced Concepts team loves to solve. The fact that Arcteryx had an in-house design and R&D team was huge. We actually realized how uncommon that is in the space. The opportunity for Arcteryx is take this thing that's definitely a little crude and make something that really like has an emotional attachment. When we first saw the design, it was really intimidating because we don't do robotics, we don't do machine learning. But when you unpack the problem, it was really familiar to us. You know, you're looking at users that want to get outside and really see them light up when they understand that this could really help them overcome obstacles or achieve goals. Early on, Cam brought in Dana, design developer at Arcteryx. She is the type of person who customizes everything. It's made a custom glove, cuff, wedding dresses, backpack. I did make my own pair of mountain bike pants because I wasn't able to find those in the industry that I liked the fit of. To figure out what they needed to make, Cam and Dana did what they do best, ask big questions. Like, how do you fit an exoskeleton into a pair of technical hiking pants? Luckily, it turned out a lot of the solutions to new problems could be found in old problems. We've really leveraged the experience in the building and a lot of the technologies that we've worked so hard to develop. Like using the method Arcteryx invented in the 90s to shape a hip belt on a pack or a leg loop on a harness. And then applying that same method to create cuffs that can support bulky electronics and still fit comfortably around a person's leg. Having to fit gear under a piece of apparel is not necessarily new for Arcteryx. You know, we have to make our pants that fit over a ski boot. And we know a lot about how something hard is going to abrade against the back of a material. But the parts that were unknown was kind of introducing electronics into that. Arcteryx and Skip worked in sprints for weeks at a time. That you only have that much surface area. Refining and tweaking, oh, yeah. Here, lives. There's one on back. and refining some more. Yeah, but you see it's going really well. Producing some really out there prototypes. Eventually, the teams were ready for the next big step. Taking the prototype from here to here. I think the chief is the best muse for this because it's not easy. I think there's a lot of people that aspire to do it. And then it obviously being local and 
there's a lot of technicality to that hike and, you know, empowerment feeling when you get to the top. <laughs> Turns out combining hard goods, soft goods, engineering, machine learning, and then taking all that up the chief creates some challenges. When we first climbed the chief with the device, I think we broke like three of the 3D printed plastic parts we had done. We've had times where we're halfway up the chief and one of the legs of the device stops working. I think getting it out of the design center really helped fail fast and, and iterate. One of the things they learned, testers wanted to use this like a heavy backpack. You wear it when you need it. You take it off when you don't. So the team asked, what if we made the motors at the knee removable? And because every element of this product is so interconnected, that decision started a domino effect. It's a bit of a roller coaster, I think disappointing and then it's a little daunting, but then I think something is really impacting the user experience in a meaningful way, then it doesn't matter that it's gonna have those domino effects. So the team got to work. How are you actually gonna attach it to the leg? Affect the pant fit, it would affect the pant exits that it went through, it would affect how long our cables needed to be. The cuffs had to change because they were receiving the lateral structure. And take the old machine learning models, transfer them to all this new data. Days of just grinding, building, Iterating, failing. Yeah, it turns out that this is really complicated. It's incredibly difficult to kind of fit a product into somebody's life. I think we were able to find that adversity and stare at it straight in the face and, you know, come back to the drawing board. Sprint after sprint, the two teams iterated, refined and redefined everything, leading to a fully functional, scalable and revolutionary innovation. The MOGO by Arcteryx and Skip. The big questions had finally been answered, but the why had always been clear. It's kind of crazy. I can definitely feel it. It's like you think you have to deliver a certain amount of force and it just helps you. Yeah, it feels good. No, it feels good to be doing this. We've been so deep in the weeds. Getting to step out of that and see how impactful this is for people is extremely emotional. I mean, honestly, getting to see how this actually impacts somebody's life like so deeply. I feel like you and I have talked about going into surgery. I'm like, am I going to be able to do the things I loved doing? Since heart surgery, it wasn't even a, a matter of life and death. It was just like there's all these things that kind of make up my life and have something like this and just know that you can kind of return to doing what you love is yeah, pretty powerful. That's good. Nope. So Trish, when was the last time you hiked the Chief? Up here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you said it was like 20... 20 years ago. I didn't think I would do it again. And here I am. <laughs> there you go. Here I am. It's the core of our human experience, walking around, moving your body, connecting with other people through shared experiences. And so I think at the end of the day, what we're striving for is making it feel like it's not a complex technical product, and making it feel as simple, as approachable, as human as possible. So? That's the MOGO. Four years in the making. Coming soon to help more people go further in the mountains. <laughs>